Well, good morning everyone. We are up bright and early this morning, so early that it's dark outside and we can't start the vlog outside like we normally do. It's uh, very bright and early. We're off to Universal today and we're going to do a little bit of early park entry at Islands of Adventure. Yeah. So we want to be there about half seven. It opens at eight o'clock, but it does normally open slightly early. We want to just be there in the queue, ready to get in and get straight to Hagrid. So the earlier the, you're there, the earlier you're in the park, the earlier you're in the queues for Hagrid's and Velocicoaster, etc. Yeah. So Hagrid's and Velocicoaster and a Starbucks is on the agenda this morning. Yeah. Then I think we're going to head from there to the outlets, do a little bit of outlet shopping. Yes. And then we'll see what happens with the rest of the day. But for now, we're going to jump in the car. Can't believe it's still fully dark outside. Half past six it is at the moment. I know, you get a lot off and I was like, oh my God, it feels like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, half past six. But uh, we've got a, about a 45 minute journey. Then we've got to walk into the park, all of that. So definitely leave nice yeah. and early. Uh, there's no point getting to early park entry at like quarter past eight because it's still just going to be really busy. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be busy still. So you've got to be in there some of the first in to really make it count. So uh, let's jump in the car and let's uh, get ourselves off. Well, the sun is just about starting to come up, just about. <laughs> it does feel mega, mega early, but with our uh, time difference and our jet lag and stuff, it doesn't actually feel too bad being up. It's not too bad, actually. Yeah, it'll be worth it when we've done Hagrid's and Velocicoaster by nine o'clock. The uh, early start will be worth it. We can have a little bit, bit of a nap this afternoon, maybe. Hot air balloons going up. There you go. A couple of them are they going up? Oh yeah, they're getting up they're going, going up, up, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So they're starting to get ready to go up. Wow. Definitely need to look into that one day, doing that one day. I they know. look really good. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Firing up the balloons. That's wow. amazing. So American, American balloons. balloons. Wow. A couple of different companies there, but yeah, it looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Here we are then, you all know where we've parked already, don't you? Yeah. King Kong 109, 108. Yeah. Always these rows, these rows are just like dedicated for us when we arrive. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, King Kong, uh, when you do the, when you come here quite early, this is always where you end up parking. That's why we always end up here quite a lot. Because when we come for early entry, these are the rows we always seem to be in. Not many parking at this hour. Lovely temperature. A chilly for me. A little bit chilly. It's lovely. This it's lovely. <laughs> so we got here by uh, what is it? Quarter past seven. <laughs> so about quarter past seven. So bear in mind, you've got another sort of fifteen minutes before you're going to be at the gates because you've got a bit of a walk and security and stuff. And then we'll be in the line, ready to get in as soon as it opens. We've got our little uh, annual pass entrance. Yeah, we have. Our own little annual pass queue. I think it should be open. I'm excited now. A bit of Hagrid's would be good if we could do it. I think it can do. I think it's alright. I think it's doable. Hagrid's and then a bit of a lossy coaster. Oh, oh, yeah. Two of our favourite rides in, uh, in Florida, those. Then coffee, yeah? Then it's Starbucks time and a chill. And I said to Laura, it's really hard. It is really hard getting up at this hour. Especially as you get deeper and deeper into the holiday and your body adjusts to the time zone. But it's so worth it by... You know, I was thinking you're gonna have another couple of another hour or so in bed. Then instead of a half an hour journey with no traffic, you've got an hour journey with traffic. Then you get in and it's ram -owned. Then every ride is dead long. It's hard getting up. But once you're up and you've done those rides and you're like, wow, it's like not even nine o'clock and we've done Velocity Coast to Hagrid's. We can chill and have a coffee. We've just driven there with no traffic, lovely roads. Yeah. It is worth it. It's hard getting up. But it's worth it and you can always have a nap in the afternoon. I just think getting to the parks early as you can 
even if you've not got early entry, being there at the gates half an hour before it opens makes a massive difference to your day. And how many rides you get done, if you're driving in, it's lovely and quiet. Or even if you're walking in now, security and everything, it'll be lovely and quiet. It makes a big difference, I think. So that brings me to a question with you all, uh, following along. What is your top tip or recommendation for getting up early? How do you manage to get up early for the park? So you're just an early riser anyway? Or do you like to set an alarm and drink a special coffee or something like that? What is your routine or what do you do to try and get out of bed early? Uh, or you're a bit like us and you just sort of roll yourself out the bed, put some form of clothes on and head out the door. Yeah, do let us know. Have you got any tips for uh, getting up early, especially in Florida when you're a little bit tired, you know? You're doing parks in the day, it's knackering. Let me know. We did get to bed early last night. We were in bed by nine o'clock last night. But, um, so yeah, we should feel pretty fresh this morning, really. And we do, but yeah. Any tips for actually getting out of bed? Because I think because it was dark outside, it made it a little bit harder. Yes, Look, yes, yes. Looking out the door window, I could see it was dark and it was like, oh, how early is it? But no, now we're here and it's light and we've watched the sunrise and everything. The music's pumping me up, you know? <laughs> I'm ready now, yeah. It is good vibes when you walk into here, it really is. It does give you good feels. Ah, good morning, Universal. Oh do like that. this little routine, getting a little bit of early entry and no, feels good. Really good. Feel feels good. I think that's enough for today. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should head back. <laughs> now I'm looking forward to today. Feeling nice and fresh. Tempting to get a Starbs now, cool. but yeah, now the sun's up and it's light, you feel a bit better, don't you? Yeah. Tempting to get a Starbs now, but we're going to wait and have that as a little, yeah, don't want a caramel latte going around while I'm on them. <laughs> yeah, you might as well be in the queue now, as I've mentioned, get yourself in that line, get yourself first in and put your power walking shoes on. Remember last time we did the, uh, we did the Islands of Adventure Marathon, didn't we? We did. So it might be marathon day again today, it depends. It depends. Well, some some days it's not marathon day because they've not got the uh, the stewards on duty. Some days it is marathon day. The stewards are, are uh, you know, letting things slide. <laughs> we'll see. So I hope you limbered up, do a bit of stretching in the queue. Now I was just saying then to Laura, atmosphere wise, walking into here now, it's a bit more, it feels like a bit more of an atmosphere, a bit yeah. more of a, a buzz coming in with the music on and things. Something that maybe Disney's missing a little bit these days. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I just feel a bit more of a, a buzz, you know, with the music on and everything it makes a big difference to me. Let me know what you think. I think, I don't know, Disney's missing a little bit, you know, with the... I, I do find parking there as well. Parking up, covered garage, on those moving escalators, bit of music on, bit of views is a lot more pleasant than the parking in the boiling hot open car park, waiting to get on a tram, getting on a tram, getting off a tram. I don't know, I find that a bit more pleasant as well, I've got to say. Compared to yesterday, those two trams we did. We spent about an hour on trams, didn't we? Yeah, 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 waiting around, getting on them, getting off them. All the safety spiel and all that. We'll see. See, I saw some Disney fans are going mad at the moment, but I love both. But there's just little things that, I don't know, little things that change the atmosphere coming into here compared to the Disney parks. So if you are coming for early entry, if you've got access to get early entry, you will go to any of these gates here and wait. You can see it's now 23 minutes past uh, seven and you can see there's a lot of people heading on in and a lot of people already waiting in between these gates here. If you are a UOAP, you do get a special entrance, which is just here. So again, we've all got to wait in line though. There's quite a lot of uh, annual pass holders do come in. It is a Saturday today as well, so. Again. 
the weekend yeah the weekend yeah so we'll be a little bit busier today we am glad we're in the queue we're not too far back this will move nice and quickly they'll scan us on through and we'll be in oh, you can just see the islands of adventure music being on in the queue line it's just soft but exciting at the same time a lot of people listen to this in work and everything just to put themselves in the feel-good mood yeah bit of this song while you're doing a bit of office work you know you can imagine yourself in the queue can't and then you you're like oh come what bother these emails and this comes up <laughs> and go let's do the emails yeah. do the emails to psych yourself back up to make you you know get your yeah. set, get your next trip booked over here yeah and our last series we did do that little day where we did the water rides as well everyone loved that day we might end up doing something similar to that or something a bit different like that yeah that was good fun was good we, day, did all yeah. the, we did all the water rides here in islands of adventure with the gopro yeah. We got absolutely drenched. My shoes were soaked, if I remember rightly. Yeah. Absolutely drenched. It was a really good fun day and a fun vlog as well. Everyone enjoyed that. Uh, that is in our last series if you want to check that out. Yeah, I did enjoy that. It's good fun. I have to think of something different to do here today. But I think we're going to get hopefully quite a lot done compared to yesterday where we didn't really get that much done for a whole day in two Disney parks. No, it wasn't great, we, we only got, what, four or five experiences or rides done. It's a shame. So, I mean, but hopefully we're going to have two ticked off in the first hour in here. And, and then, chill. you know, hopefully a little bit of a coffee, chill, maybe a sp cheeky Spidey or a Doctor Dooms or a... Not a Hulk. Not a Hulk. Not a Hulk. I'd like to keep my head today. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't bring my helmet. We've changed that now, haven't we? We do that towards the end of the holiday at the end of a night. End of a night, yeah, towards the front. And yeah. I normally try and bring a bike helmet with me as well. <laughs> <laughs> So we've just been sent a little bar update on the progress of the refurbishment of the bar. So we'll just have a little look at this while we're in the queue. Because uh, we have just bought a bar in Tenerife where we live. So just having a little look at that. If you've been following along, you'll have seen a lot of the progress videos already on the channel. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. Keeping track of the progress. I do like that blue colour on the grey stairs. Nice, yeah. isn't it? Coming together quite nicely. This was all dark wood and... Yeah, it's looking good. It looks new now, doesn't it? That yeah, wood looks, it looks brand super new. Yeah, modern. Nice. Yeah, because I was concerned about those. I was like, oh, I think they're going to look really old and no, tired. It looks but modern now. Yeah, yeah it, it looks like smart, the purpose yeah. to put them in there to, yeah. to go with the ball. It looks really nice. It's good. I like it. Yeah. It's looking good. What time are we on, Laura? Half past seven. So I reckon about ten minutes early they might start slinking us a couple of us stop, through. And then stop us just there. Yeah, they start scanning you in and stop us there and then we can all race on in. Yeah. Get your running shoes on, Laura. Someone was asking about Laura's shoes on the last vlog. They are the On Clouds. Uh, you've got those in Amsterdam. They've lasted quite well. And I'm in the On Cloud Monsters. Dead comfy, dead yeah. airy. You can see the guy in front of us has got On Clouds on as well. Very popular now these days. And believe it or not, the guy who designed On Clouds actually worked for Nike. And Nike rejected him. Didn't like his ideas. So he left and started on so, cloud himself. How big is now he's a billionaire. Company. So billionaire, so Nike could have had that. Yeah. Nike could have had that. Yeah. He was and involved then that man with Nike. And that man would have got a little slither of it because yeah. he's doing get a little slither. But now that man's a billionaire. Yeah. And they are good. But yeah, he, he was in at Nike. So Nike could have brought out something similar, but they didn't. And now think, look, everyone's wearing well, them. My last three Nike pairs of shoes. I think if Nike brought it out, would have made as much money. I think the fact that it's a separate company, it's the reason why it's made so much money. I think money. that helps, but they still could have had the technology. People like the yeah, technology, don't they? People don't always buy Nike because they don't like Nike shoes, typically or Adidas or Puma or whatever. So to see a new brand, they'll try it and then fall in love with it. Yeah. I think that's well, a good I used point, to buy yeah. Nike religiously, and my last three pairs of shoes now have all been on cloud instead. Yeah, so. so it makes a big difference. That's different. Okay, and the run begins. Here we go then. I've limbered up. We've done a little warm up. Just been chatting to two lovely guys in the queue, having a good chat. Some subscribers. Uh, hello, if you're watching. So here we go then. Jogaruni time. <laughs> oh yeah, we burn the calories off for the Starbucks. Just think you're going to earn the calories for that uh, Rice Krispie bar, aren't you? So you can see this is why it's important to be some of the first in the queue here yeah, to get yourself in already. oh yeah put your comfy power walking shoes on and um, laura's running down the right come on laura Whee! 
<laughs> Gotta keep it tight. You can't go too fast in the beginning because it's burnt now. <laughs> so just to confirm, what charity is it you're running for, Laura? <laughs> My own charity. <laughs> get on the get on the uh, Hagrid ride charity. Oh, funny. So we've made it to the first checkpoint of the Islands of Adventure Marathon, and that is Doctor Zeusland. Checkpoint done. Continue on now on the last leg of the race. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is it just me that's out of breath? Nope. nope. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I've got deja vu because I'm pretty sure I've done this marathon before. <laughs> hey, it beats the London Marathon though. <laughs> it's a bit shorter and there's a bit of a uh, more of a uh, reward at the end. And it's not easier. Huh. Didn't expect to be doing this this morning. Come on, Laura, you can do it. <laughs> One last stretch. <laughs> Come on. Oh, wow. Well, what a start to the day. Up at about half five. And into the Hagrid's line. Yeah, they snake the line all the way through, normally through the uh, staging area of the show stage. It's saying 55 minutes from here, it's definitely not. Uh, this will time it actually. What time is it now, Laura? Five to eight. So it's still only five to eight, and we're into this point. This is why, even with early entry opening at eight, gotta be here nice and early. Nice and early, because at five to eight, we're already in this line here now. And people are piling in, completing the marathon. Well done, guys. <laughs> Thanks for completing the marathon with us, everyone viewing at home. I hope you're ready. Yeah, your reward is a little ride on Hagrid's with us. And then a little uh, velocity coaster as well. And then in a little bit, you can put the kettle on and join us for a coffee. <laughs> That's a good start to the day. I'm enjoying it so far. Weather is absolutely gorgeous as well. Look at those blue skies, palm trees. It's a gorgeous Florida morning. Good day for riding. So don't forget, if you have got large items, you will have to put them in the free lockers. So you will save time not having anything to put in lockers, uh, which means we can just walk straight on. We've not got to do the lockers just now. There you go, there's the bikes testing. So we're in the queue already now, officially at Hagrid's a couple of minutes to eight. Love this queue line as well. So many good little details and themes running through it. So I don't know if you saw there in the little clip, two staff members just on the front row testing it out while they're testing. Imagine if that was your job. So your job in the morning, get yourself to Hagrid's, just, just sit on the front row, just check it's working for us just to start your day. I can start your day every day with that. So I start my day by uh, jumping on the front row of Hagrid's just to check it's all running smoothly. Couldn't be bad, could it? Oh, okay. Worst ways to start your day. So it's basically a straight walk on no line at all. This is all just flowing straight onto the bikes. What time is it now, Laura? Three minutes past eight. Three minutes past eight and we're gonna be walking straight on to Hagrid. So it's really paid off, absolutely made up with this. Here we go then, 8 a.m. and we're on the bikes. Uh, we're just speaking to some people in the queue as well. Everyone had the same idea as us, didn't they? The lad in front said the same. I said, we're doing this, but lost the to Starbucks. And he's like, oh, yeah, we're doing the same. Then someone else was like, oh, we're doing the same. Everyone's got the same routine. Please watch the wild. Oh, what a ride! What a ride! Absolutely amazing. So good, isn't it? So good. So all done and off Hagrid's by seven minutes past eight. Unbelievable ride, so worth getting up for. I love it. We're on the back row, just amazing, absolutely amazing. It is well worth an hour's queue. 
if you're going to queue up it is worth yeah. an hour or so to queue that um so if you haven't got early entry uh, it's a tough one really because a lot of people do still come straight to here even if you're coming in for the normal park entry at nine which could still be an option for you i think you're still going to face about an hour and a half wait or the other option is you just keep an eye on the app wait for it to drop down a little bit in the afternoon and try and do it then but it is it's very difficult it's a very popular ride it is worth an hour an hour and a half it is fantastic if you've not done it before as well but if you're coming in for the normal park entry it's a tough decision you either come straight here and just accept it's going to be an hour about an hour and a half or you go on and do some other rides and see how it is in the afternoon just keep checking the app if you see it for 60 minutes or less get straight in that line straighten that line but look at this for a gorgeous morning view the castle there right we're gonna head round to now Velocicoaster. Coaster. yeah been really excited for this ride since uh, we got here so like, yeah yeah ready to little miss boardroom come down see how things are working out <laughs> <laughs> yeah looking forward to it gonna go and see Claire on Velocicoaster. Coaster however I've not heard it run round yet mm, that could be a worrying sign not seen anyone uh, go round on it yet. But uh, fingers crossed, it's uh, not delayed. So it is running, I can hear it now, and it's only a 15 minute wait. It's all going well this morning. It just feels so good to be in. The, the music just gives you goosebumps, doesn't it? All, all the hairs are standing up on my arms. It's so immersive, isn't it? Really do feel like I'm in Jurassic Park right now, all these trees around. Yeah, it's just a real typical awesome Florida morning this morning. The weather, everyone's in a great mood in the lines and everything. Yeah. Everyone's in a good mood. Everyone's like chatting and yeah, everyone's just buzzing to be in the park. Ah, oh, these kids are celebrating going on it. Someone's just come off and said, I want to go straight on it again. <laughs> Oh, I love seeing people coming off. I know, but that feeling when you come off and you've loved it and you've done it and you've been worried about doing it. If you haven't been on Velocity Coaster, you've got to do it. If you're a little bit worried about how intense it is, make sure you sit towards the front or maybe even front row. Is that a little bit less intense? Front row, I would probably recommend. It takes a little bit longer, but you can see where you're going. A lot less intense. Here you go. When you disembark. Laura, he was looking at you then. He was eyeing you up, yeah. He saw you and then blinked and watched, followed you across the room there. Right, so we're just going to grab our free locker. So if you've not done this before, you've got to have everything in some lockers. You just go round to the locker, scan your park ticket, door will open, it's all free. And then you just pick up your stuff at the end. There you go, put all our stuff in here, we'll catch you on the other side, guys. Velocity Coaster, all done, straight walk on, walk straight on it, and then we're going to go around straight away to it again. Straight away, it's uh, completely empty up there, we're having a great morning so far, so we'll walk straight round and do it all over again. What time is it now, Laura? 20 past 8. 20 past 8, we've done the tour already, we're going on this again such a good ride these two they're right up there they really are still says only 15 minutes so straight on again yeah didn't even get to see the uh, the video in the queue line did we no we didn't we might do this with Claire didn't even get to see Claire we're straight on no more tea <laughs> Second ride complete and just as good as the first. Absolutely awesome. So it's now 20 to 9. We've managed those three rides, awesome rides they are as well. And it's definitely time for a coffee. Now there is also a Universal Orlando Annual Pass Holders. If you're a yeah, annual pass holder, you know. 
and um, there's a garage sale from today 23rd to the 25th so we're going to try and ask a staff member for a bit more information yeah. about that aren't we yeah they definitely want to see what's going on yeah, see so if we can get any bargains, you know, even though we're going to got hand luggage, we can uh, maybe pick up a Listen, little bargain t-shirt or something. Yeah, annual pass, you know. I never know, I know. It's amazing that's an annual pass holder only as So well. there is also an annual pass holder sale on at Disney and ESPN. You have to join it with a virtual queue at 8am. We've missed that, so we'll have to try and do yeah. that another day. So it's not even 29 or all spotted Yeah, that. so there is, they're both sort of doing a bit of a annual pass holder sale. Gorgeous bed there by the lake. And it's not you, Laura. <laughs> it's just here. They just point him out as Velocity Coaster goes round. There you go. Look at that for a view. There he is down there. Big blue heron. He's gorgeous. Massive. Gorgeous. Looking for a little bit of a breakfast. Come to Starbucks with us if you want. Hello. I'll feed you. Treat him to a little Starbucks. Yeah. So definitely, we've just been speaking to, again, a couple of lovely subscribers. And top tip, if you haven't been on it before, you're scared, you're nervous, that lady was really concerned about the, the harnesses not going over the shoulder. Trust me, it's absolutely brilliant. It's so freeing, but does still feel safe. Yeah, you don't feel like you're going to come out at all. No. You don't feel like you're going to be dangerous. Just, I think it's because it's so smooth as well, and it's designed. Yeah. Really well, so you do feel very secure it, yeah. still, but definitely go for the front row. I would say if you're doing it for the first time, you can see where you're going, see what's coming. It's a little bit smoother, a bit less intense, so I'd definitely go yeah, for definitely. the front row. Yeah. But do it honestly. If you don't like it, it's over in about two minutes, less than that. Yeah, it's over quite quickly if you're not into it, but I think you will enjoy it. There's only a few bits to go upside down. Yeah, as well. I don't know anyone who's come off and gone, I hated that. It was all apart from my mum and dad. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, they just found it intense. They didn't find it insecure. They found it intense. And to be fair, we didn't queue for the front. We should have. They were on towards the back. It's a bit more intense at the back. So we made that mistake. They wanted to see where they were going. They were like, I couldn't see where we were going, where we were. So definitely front row. It's an extra little bit of a, probably a 10, 15 minute extra wait, but well worth it. Right, it's definitely coffee time now. Coffee time, coffee time. Here we go, here we go, soft behind us. Just love that view. I could watch that go all day long. It's just amazing. So in all everything that we've done, there's still people here now waiting to come in. It's just crazy, crazy how much you can get done in that first tower. But still, even if you can't get early entry, as I've said, not everyone's lucky enough to have early entry. Still be here, still be here in this group. Because people like me and Laura, we've done what we wanted to do. We're now going to have a coffee and let other people be in the line. So and they're still first out of the eight and the nine o'clock. Exactly. Still I'd still be in this group of people trying to get in there definitely so it pays to be early no matter what time the park opens so yeah, we're gonna enjoy a coffee now let everyone else crack on and get themselves in the lines and everything we'll enjoy a little coffee nice velocity coaster t-shirt there got hulk testing and uh, see how long the line is for starbs here cheeky starbs Now, just walking in here, that is the smell of liquid heaven. Like it smells like heaven in here, Laura. Don't forget, we get our annual pass discount in here as well. We do, we do. UOAP. Hello, hello. You don't need some monster mugs. You don't need a pink pump, pink pup in mug either. Very cute, but we don't need it. There's a lot of things you're buying we don't use. It's like nearly free because annual pass discount. It's not nearly free at all. Nearly free. It's not the mindset to have, I'm afraid. No. There you go, and our adventure starts. What are you going for, Laura? Usual. Grande, venti, tall, espresso. Caramel latte, soy milk with a rice crispy bar. Nice. Daddy, yeah, you're so not going to mix it up. You don't fancy going crazy, like going nuts, going, whoa, espresso time. Do you no. want an espresso? No, I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> I'd watch you have one, though. <laughs> a couple of different breakfast options as well. I might go for a pan of chocolate today rather than a lemon loaf. I think I might have you a pan like of chocolate for breakfast. Yeah, I like to switch them up, especially at breakfast time. I mean, that brownie looks good though, doesn't it? What have you got there? Eggs and gouda. Do you know what? 
apart from the crackers, that's a good little uh, meal. It's not bad, is it? Not bad for a meal. Okay, let's get ourselves ordered. So, if you are an annual pass holder, make sure you get in the annual pass holder group on Facebook. Now, this is probably why it was a little bit quieter in here today for early entry because it looks like a lot of the annual pass holders have been to go and get in the garage sale line, which looks absolutely massive uh, across in Universal, yeah. where that is. We might pop over and see, maybe, I'm not sure. It says 90% of the stuff in there was Harry Potter stuff, though. Yeah. So I'm not sure whether we're going to want to wait, like, you know, an hour or so to buy some Harry Potter stuff that we don't really need. We're not going to buy Harry Potter stuff because we don't no. buy Harry Potter stuff, do we? Not really. So we'll see how we feel about that. Maybe go and jump on Spider-Man after this. Yeah. There's a big, big thing that we need to do today. Now it's uh, now that it'll be open. Got to get some people soaked on those water guns, oh man. God, got to be done. You have, yeah. I've got a, I've got a good hour scheduled on them <laughs> after this. I think you should stop being quackers, Laura, and trying to attract the drugs. Quackers you are. I've been trying with all the birds, but um, I'm not as friendly. Well, that, that Starbucks left me feeling a bit beaky. A bit beaky, yeah. Oh, they are cute. Universal ducks instead of Disney ducks. Universal ducks. So, coffee all done. I'm feeling refreshed now. I'm feeling yeah. good. We're going to head towards Spider-Man, I think. See what that is, and then we'll carry on to our water sprayers yeah. that I absolutely love. It's one of my favourite things to do here. You might have already seen me on them before, but if you're new to the channel, it's literally one of my favourite things to do is get people soaked with the water guns on Popeye's barges. You get a few people there right in the face, get them soaked. Get on that. Have you heard about um, Anne? No. You know my auntie? Yeah. Auntie Anne, she's closed. Oh, <laughs> you like that, auntie Anne's is closed here. I don't know what's going to happen with that, whether it's going to be refurbished or something. This whole building all walled off now. Bit of construction going on. Ten minute wait, Ten minute wait for Spider Man. Let's go and get it done then, Spider Man. And then get some people soaked. But yeah, Auntie Anne's. I wonder what that is all going to become. Nice new area maybe, new store, new eatery or something. Could be, yeah. We'll see. Really good in there. Got to get them on. Look at that. All these crime reports that are coming in all over the city and everything. What's going on? Starting to get worried. Hello? This is Jonah Jameson. Roger. Over. Is this thing on? There's quite a man nearby. Trouble can't be far away. You know what trouble means. Headlines! National coverage! So don't screw this up! <laughs> releases on that one and it was only 10 minute wait as well it's uh, pretty much straight on good going pretty good going yeah now i've had a bit of a wet you know a bit of a bit of a dousing it's time to get people so you know some people seriously wet and seriously cheesed off and all i like it when they get cheesed off and they look at you and you're like what are you gonna do if you're on a wet ride it's uh, they're there for a reason to get them soaked well, we've just met some lovely subscribers again. Quite, met quite a few people in here today. Okay. If you do see us around, do make sure you come and say hello. It's great to chat with you all and see what your thoughts are. Uh, they were just saying there, they've been mainly doing Universal. 
and uh, they've been finding the parks closing a bit too early, especially with Horror Nights being on. They're finding the parks are closing quite early. It's just interesting to find out what different people think about things. Yes, Yeah, I think so. I think when Universal shuts early for Horror Nights, this park should be up until 9, 10, in my opinion. But there we go. We might do a little bit of Horror Nights tonight. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. But it's nice and warm, which is good, because that means people will be going on Popeyes. And if you think you're not getting wet, that's because I'm not on the guns yet. It's time to get some people soaked. I did do a, um, a couple of trips ago, I did, put a little video on um, TikTok of me doing this and it went crazy, it's got like 8 to 800,000 views, so, some funny comments on it as well, sound, saying I sound like all kinds, but I just love it, it's just, just you know, it just makes me, uh, gives me a bit of a thrill, something, some things just, you know, tickle your fancy, don't they? This just ticks a box for me, I don't know why, honestly don't know why, but even if you're an adult, Get yourself on these things because they're so fun. I, I don't know, it's just like the thrill of it and they look up at you and you're like, what are you? It's like, what are you going to do? You're on a water ride. Yeah. They've supplied these yeah. these sprayers to get you wet. What are you going to do? <laughs> it's just funny. Yeah, I think people think it's all like done and then, I don't know, I think it, it's but maybe because they feel like they're being targeted with the sprayer, I don't know, but it's good fun. Okay, a little bit of a... Uh, Stumble in the works, Popeyes is not quite open yet. No, There's a bit of a delay o delayed opening on it, which is a shame. Ah, so we're not going to get some people wet yet. Plenty of time though, it's only day one of a two week trip. Or day two of a, of a two week trip. Plenty of time, that's a shame. I know. Delayed opening, not quite ready yet. There, yeah. It's a shame. Hopefully, opens up soon. We can get some people. I know, we'll have a little wander and then. Come a little back wander, maybe we'll do Kong minutes. or something, yeah. yeah. We'll come back in a little bit. Let's have a little wander. Yeah. I can't believe it's still only 10 o'clock. How much we've got done That's all it. before 10. And if you compare it to yesterday, heading into Magic Kingdom, I mean, we're only just getting off the, the barge and all that at Magic yeah. Kingdom this yeah. time yesterday. That's why that, that park is my least favourite and it always will be. Because getting in and out is just. A lot of it is getting in and out is difficult, but especially the Magic Kingdoms probably that were definitely the worst. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, made up with so much we've got done today. Ah, we can still go on these uh, sprayers though, Laura. Yeah, yeah. Just pay a couple of bucks, still get some people wet on uh, the log flume. Yeah. Okay, so I've uh, just scanned my card. We're good to go. We're on number three. Here we go. Let's get some people wet. Oh, big mistake, no ponchos. Here we go. Way! Hey! hey. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> he wasn't impressed, was he? Here we go again. Oh, you've got a couple of ponchos, but you two in the middle are in trouble. Here we go, have a bit of that. Oh, right, let's get these. Come on, no ponchos. Get them off. Way! Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hey! hey. <laughs> I'm here all day, this is it now. And do step of the day. Oh, oh, oh. Let's have a look. Have you got another go? No, you only get one go, you only don't get you? One go here, whatever it is, I don't even know. It's just the, the problem. Contactless. I'm going to have one more go and then we'll wait for the free ones. To yeah. Well, here, we've got some people with no ponchos here. Here we go. Hey. Oh, sorry, love. Sorry! Hey! <laughs> she weighed very reluctantly. She wasn't impressed. <laughs> so unfortunately Kong delayed as well. A few operational issues today. A couple of the rides delayed. Yeah, technicians will be working hard. So we might now do Jurassic River Adventure. What do you think, Laura? We're gonna get soaked though, that's the thing. I don't wanna get drenched. Quite comfortably being, I mean, it's hot enough to dry off though. But yeah, I don't want to come off absolutely drenched. It was, I was being meant to be the one getting people wet. I know. <laughs> I know. We'll, we'll get to it, see how we feel. Let's what see how wet people are when they come off. You can hear it going there now. Oh, the sound are getting soaked.
Okay, here we go then, River Adventure. I've seen all the boats coming down, are only half full, so it says 10 minutes. I think this is gonna be a straight walk on. We'll try and sit towards the middle oar and not get too wet. There you go. We don't want mockers, do we? No. Where have we gone then? Have we gone the wrong way? We've gone the wrong way, Laura. Have we? We have gone the wrong way. You've gone the wrong way. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so this is currently the queue line. Now for a Saturday morning, this ain't bad at all. Yeah. Here we go, you ready to get wet? I'm on the edge here as well, I'm probably gonna get wet. Well, we didn't get too wet there, did we? We did okay. It barely makes my belly go that does. I shut my eyes as well and go get right into it. it makes your belly go even more. Shut your eyes. I think, think it's because you can't see where you're going, you know, with all that steam. Yeah, I think it's because you can't see what's coming. It was because you have the, the dinosaur and all the smoke. It makes your belly go even more. Yeah. Your brain can't process how steep it is and stuff. Nice scene. I like to watch it. Oh no, I shut my eyes, makes your belly go even more. I love it. Good news! The barges are running, so it's time to get some people wet. Off we go then. Highlight of the day. That's it, you all go on, unsuspecting victims. I will see you on the other side. Come on, Laura, you're slacking. Hope you've got your trigger finger ready. I'll be two minutes behind you. Right, see you there, I'm not waiting around. No time to lose here. Already been delayed this morning. So they are all coming around, just waiting for a uh, sprayer to come available. But even just watching other people do it, it's hilarious. Some of these people, the ones on the last one were quite funny. Oh, lovely. <laughs> okay, so I'm on my position. We've got a uh, ready to go. Got great views of the park from up here as well, just so you know. But uh, this is what it's all about, just here. Whee! Get on now. All oh, right, all over him there. Oh, lovely, right down here back. <laughs> oh, horrible. <laughs> lovely. Oh, you ready to get these people? I'm ready. Here we go. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs> He's fuming. Like that. He's, He's doing all the reaction. He's got his arms up like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she isn't a happy bunny. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Hey, some people soak down there. Ha ha ha, get them, Laura. You get them. Doing well, you know, some girls here coming. Don't look happy. You know, look. Don't be concerned that you're too wet now because you're about to get soaked. <laughs> here we go, there. We've got two guns. We're ready to go. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Well, we're having a blast of a time here. I hope you like that. Oh, hey. Here we go. Let's get these soaked here. These here. Look at this. Right down his back, you start oh. with. Oh, what a shot that was. Oh, hey. oh, oh no! Hey. <laughs> oh, the legends hey. make oh, it. Oh. <laughs> Two headshots we got Did there. Did you like that, yeah? Oh, I loved it. I could be here all day. <laughs> I got a woman day. before, squared in the face. They don't see it coming. They're that focused on going through the big waterfall there. I know. Like, they, they don't realise they're going to get, you know, I've also gone in the face. Oh, I love it. One more go. One more Been go. Been saying one more go for 10 minutes. I know. <laughs> I do love the views of the park, though. You've got the Lossy Coaster going around there. Look oh, at that wow. For a view. That. Stunning. Oh, watch that go around. You've got the hunky be turned to the right now going around. Look at that. Wow. Awesome views as you're doing it. Here we go. One more. Here we go. Whee! It. Just love it. You've got to get yourself up here. Most of the people on here are all adults having a blast. <laughs> I so, know it is. I've seen a few subscribers around, but oh, it's just too fun. You've got to get yourself up here, even just for the views. I know it's, it's nice up, up here, isn't it? It's generally a bit quiet up here as well, isn't it? Lads, so it's nice. Get the missus or the kids of Starbucks. You just come on here and let them have a coffee. But look at this here. Hey! Oh, headshot! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey! Get him on the head shot. Oh, oh, he wasn't right happy. He wasn't back. happy. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is the best. Far left. Yes, yeah, so the far left. Again. So here this one. Again. Oh, go I'm gone. I'm oh, gone. I'm gone. Oh, that lady's not Ooh, happy. Oh, she's, she's getting it. I'm getting it there. I'm getting it. Oh. I'm still getting it. <laughs> oh. oh, it's too good. I said one more go. Three goes. I ago, know. <laughs> Oh, they're coming around. Oh my they're god. Coming, they're coming thick and fast oh, now. Oh, this, this lady here, look at this. Oh, sorry. Oh, right down your top. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, she's not impressed. Oh, she's got the kids. She's not a happy bunny. I love how annoyed people I get. Know. They get really annoyed. You get the ones who are like, hey, loving it. And you get the ones who are really annoyed. Look at this here, this guy here. Look at him. Oh, right on right the edge. Right the kisser. Oh, lovely. There you go. <laughs> so our annual pass holder lounge is now open so we're going to have a little uh, look in there pick up our annual pass magnet for the month yes. and i think we're going to start heading out the park but what a successful morning we've done an awful lot had a great time weather is beautiful met some fantastic people really really good vibes today so we're going to head to the outlet malls after this and then see where our day takes us so I've been looking for this t-shirt for a while and they've actually got it here in the annual pass holder uh, lounge. So I'm going to be getting one of that. We're going to get discounts as well. Halloween Horror Nights 23. There is an annual pass holder Horror Nights shirt as well with the Dueling Dragons on it. Oh, an annual pass holder spirit jersey Laura spotted there. That one or a Disney one, Laura? That's the question. Have a little look. It's very busy in here at the moment some of the other merch here. I did like the mug, but I've not seen the See You In The Fog mug for ages. I like the mug. Let's see what the, um, let's see what the candle smells like. Let's smell that. No, you won't like it. It's okay. It's not bad. It's a bit, um, a bit spicy, that one. Is that a magnet, is it, Laura? Magnet. Yeah, I think we're, I'm definitely getting that. Let's see what else we've got here. So Laura's liking all of this stuff. I think Laura's getting the bottle. She loves the bottle. And we also like this mug as well. This could be our mug for this year. Pass holder mug. Different t-shirts and stuff. Everyone's loving these here. The Bill and Con. And this white one seems to be quite popular. So this is the back of the spirit jersey Laura likes. I don't think everyone will know you're a pass holder then, aren't you, Laura? It's quite nice. See if there's an extra small. Are you happy with that one, though, and not a Disney one? I've not seen spirit any jerseys. It's nice, this though, though, isn't it? It is nice, though. You won't miss that you're a pass holder, that's for sure. Uh, There's no extra smalls, though, only smalls, which is a shame. We can keep an eye on, though. We've got yeah, two yeah. weeks, so they will be, be, be yeah. stocking in here. We can keep an eye on things. Let's get our free little annual pass thing as well. Might grab a, um, we'll grab a drink as well, Laura, yes, while we're in here. Yeah, before we head off to the outlets. 
treat yourself to that, are you, Laura? I like that. So this is, let's see, this is $25, but we will get discount. And my T-shirt that I've wanted for a while is 33. We might be going to Horror Nights tonight, so I'll wear it tonight. Yeah, we'll have a look in the game, other shops, other T-shirts on the way out. Yeah, I mean, we did look on the way out last time we were in Horror Nights, and there was nothing really jumped out at me. This was my favourite, because this, I feel like you can wear it any year. It's just yeah, a classic the fog, yeah. seeing the fog. You wear that any year yeah. and it's I don't not. Even think people know it's like Halloween. No, like it's not super restrictive to, yeah. to glow in the dark, though. They're all going to see me in the houses, aren't they? And jump out at me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got some purchases, didn't we? We've got two drinks. Yeah. We needed a little drink. Uh, yeah, this I've got. Is our free gift. It's just a little. Um... So, no Magna for this month, which was a shame. We've got these two prints, though, and they were free, so we picked them up. We might give them away Somebody or something like that. Someone might like them. Yeah. We'll uh, keep them and, and give them away. We're not going to ruin them. No. Uh, then I got my T-shirt and Laura got her uh, mug yeah, made up with yeah. those. How much yeah. was the total bill with our discount? 75. With discount, let's see how much we got off with our oh, annual 60, pass. Um, 67. 67 and we got uh, $6.35 knocked off with the That's annual pass. Lot. So we're happy with that. It was a T-shirt I wanted for a while. Laura liked the mug. You use that mu those mugs every day, don't you? Going to yeah. work. And we needed the drink, so we're happy. Yeah. Job done. Really happy. So very, very successful morning here in Islands of Adventure. A bit of a contrast to yesterday in terms of getting things done and stuff. Obviously we did enjoy yesterday as well. Yeah, just the weather and everything. It's just been awesome this morning. So we will now head out the park and we'll head towards the premium outlets at Vineland. That's our favorite premium outlets. Have a little look around, see about the prices. A lot of people are saying now that they're just not shopping over here anymore. It's just too expensive. Yeah, which is a shame. Speaking to someone today, they said they bought shoes just before they came out, saw them over here, and they were way more expensive than back at home. So we'll have a look at some of these prices, see if there is any bargains to be had anymore. Yeah. You know, the likes of Ralph Lauren, things like that. We are saying with um, one of our friends the other day, Ralph Lauren over here used to be dead cheap. Everyone would get their polos and stuff. Yeah. Now it's basically more expensive over here or just the same. So we'll see if there is any bargains left anymore in these outlets. Is it really a good deal with exchange rates and things? We will uh, we'll find out, see if anything jumps out at us. But yeah, it's not like the days of when it was $2 to the pound and everything was cheaper here as well. And yeah. people would go home with, you know, three or four suitcases full of gear. Not quite like that anymore. Yeah, tourist pass with a little 5% discount. It would encourage people to, to shop a lot more, wouldn't exactly, it? Exactly, Spend yeah. a lot more. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Well, I mean, some of these outlets do have sales on top of sales, so we will have a look. I mean, the character outlet is a good place to get some souvenirs oh, at a good price. The yeah. uh, Disney character warehouse. So we'll have a little look. But for now, we're heading out. I'm not doing Hulk on the way out because I would like to have my, uh, my brain still intact for the rest of the day. Would be uh, good. But yeah, great morning here. Remember, if you are enjoying the vlog so far, do please give a thumbs up. Hit the little like button under the video. Make sure you do subscribe as well. There's so much more to come. This is uh, day two of a 14 day trip. Loads of other Florida vlogs already on the channel as well. Uh, loads of helpful information. Don't forget, we've got our Night Strider Florida fan group on Facebook too, uh, which you can join and you can ask questions, give advice, post up your pictures post up your holiday countdowns etc very friendly facebook group uh, so go ahead and join that one if you're on facebook as well uh, but for now we will catch you outside the park bit of a gram shot there i like it with the spider-man in the background Well, it's a nice feeling not being in that queue to park there and being in all of these crowds coming in. I uh, can't film in the security area, but it is rammed out there. Very busy coming in. So again, really does pay off to be here first thing in the morning. I'm glad I'm not in one of these cars, just, just losing time, sitting, queuing around to get in. Definitely pays off. Drag yourself out of bed. I know it's really hard sometimes, but it's so worth it in the end. We can go home and nap now instead of sitting in a car in queues. So we've got a problem, it's Saturday and it's after 10, so it's currently 12 o'clock in the afternoon and it is busy in here. Very, very busy. We've done, we've gone against what we advise and that is to come here early for a start and B, to come here not on the weekends. Yeah. Um, 
but you know we've got to try and fit it in with our schedule obviously we're filming and stuff like that as well so uh, i think we can go round around the back here we'll show you is a like a little multi-story and you can take pay ten dollars just to park in there i think yeah for the sake of the ten dollars and the time and, and how busy it is we'll just probably pay the ten dollars but if you're not on a schedule and stuff like that definitely come here a Early. when it opens at 10 yeah uh, and b on a weekday trying to Definitely. avoid the weekends i didn't even remember that it was saturday I know, well, we once got we here. got here we were like oh god no it's a weekend yeah but, but we're already here now yeah. so we might as well we'll pay the ten dollars and see what's going on in here yeah, it's only taking us like 10 minutes to drive around doesn't it yeah it's still so. just you could be driving around all day oh exactly it's, for the three spots yeah it's, it's how much time and fuel you want to burn just driving around and then then you there's that many people waiting in rows that you'll be arguing with someone oh that was my space that was your yeah. space i think for the sake of the 10 bucks We'll, uh, we'll just pay and park. But yes, big advice, do not come here. Or the one on um, International Drive on the weekends or in the afternoons yeah. either. Uh, come in the morning, it's much cooler walking around, much quieter. You get pick up all the stuff as well because everything's been restocked in the yeah. night. It's just a little bit better. I thought coming here at 12, I thought oh, we'll struggle to park, but we'll get a space, but no. It's, it's rammoed at the moment, so. Yeah. But this is the, if you just drive around as we're doing here, you can see on the right there, that big multi-storey. It's over three floors. It used to be free. Yeah. But it's, it's now $10. There you go. They want to get money out of you any which way they can, don't they? Yeah. But we'll pay it just for the convenience. Pay it for the convenience, but I'd, I would, I'd rather avoid it. So yeah. my advice to you all would be to just avoid this place at the weekends. Yeah. Or if you do come, come early and expect to pay to park as well. Uh, so the employee parking is the third and fourth floor, so it looks like we only get the first and second is the paid yeah. $10 parking. I don't know how we pay it, we'll find out. Hoping to just pass a man some cash and that's it. I think that's what it's going to be. Yeah. Just hand over your $10 and away you go. At least as well, for the $10 though, at least you're getting a nice cool car when you come back. It's in the shade, yeah. Yeah, so at least your yeah. car's going to be a bit cooler for the $10, I suppose. Yeah, so I mean, something. yeah, it is what it is. We just carry on, get on with our day and just enjoy ourselves. But yeah, it was just a tip. If, you, if you're planning in scheduling a visit to any of these outlets, schedule it in for the weekend and try and schedule it in for the morning time well, would weekday, be our, our recommendation. Yeah, yeah, sorry, avoid the weekends. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we've just paid our parking, $10 cash. You get no receipt, nothing. And then the man on the, on the stole there was asking for people's, for your phone number. I'm a bit dubious about that. I don't know what are they doing with the phone number is my question. So um, I then said, oh, it's going to be a Spanish number. Then he was like trying to put it in and then in the end he gave up. So, but you don't get a confirmation to your phone number, I don't think, by the sounds of it. I don't know. It's just a bit, what do you want my number for? Yeah. You know, are you going to send me loads of marketing? Are you going to sell my number? So yeah, I was a bit dubious with that. You don't, don't need to give your phone number in. So if you do, maybe just be careful with that. Um, maybe a digit could be slightly off because you don't get, you don't need it for anything. You just hand over your money and you just park. I think once you leave, that's it. Then you've got to, you'd have to pay to come back in again anyway. It's not like you get text or receipt to come and go. So yeah, I just found that a little bit. Hmm. Wonder what you're doing with my number there, or what you were gonna do because they didn't get it in the end. And he wasn't bothered. He was just like park anywhere. So it sounds, it seems a bit like it wasn't necessary in the end. But uh, anyway, we're parked, we're wandering in, we could, be, could have been driving around all morning there, guys. Yeah. So, for the sake of the vlog and our time, we will let's stride on. And we're entering here in a different section of uh, the outlet, so a little bit different to where we normally enter. Yeah. We're going to be coming in by Brooks, we need to remember this, Laura. Brooks, Brooks Brothers yeah. is where we're entering in from. And uh, we'll do a few tests, we'll do a few little examples and we'll see if these prices are as cheap as you know as they used to be you know the exchange rate's not great but people are saying we, we just don't go shopping anymore we just save the money and put the money towards park tickets and things instead do your shopping at home in primark etc if you're in the uk you know, we'll find out so we've just come into colombia now guys from incredible wilson's did say that a lot of the colombia stuff is a lot cheaper than at home here 
This was the only stuff we sort of found was cheaper, was the mm. Columbia stuff. That's quite a nice shirt, that, isn't it? That's a nice shirt, yeah. And this feels like it's a bit dead of, like, thin. Easy, yeah. It's dead thin, that, you know. It's and one of those special ones with the mesh, isn't it? Yeah. They're like fishing shirts, but they've got, like, vents in them and everything. They're dead yeah. cool. Large. Oh, wow. Dad a big wacky one, shouldn't I? Yeah, I it's one. got the Florida Gators on the front, but, yeah, it feels dead thin and cool, doesn't yeah. it? It's not, I mean, it's 30% off. So these are new arrivals. So it's $65 with 30% off. But it does feel very, very good quality, yeah, doesn't it? It does feel good quality, that. But yeah, apparently this Columbia stuff is a lot cheaper than at home. So you've got these nice fleeces here. $21.99. Uh, they do like different SPF tops as well. You know, like for fishing and stuff like that. But you've got your sun protection in them. So it's a nice little sort of thin little fleecy jumper. Yeah, we'll keep mooching around. We've got nice coats in here as well. They look a bit different. So some of the coats here, $70.99 for that one. This has got the special heat reflective stuff in, keeps you dead warm. Great for hiking and walking and things like I that. Mean, I've never worn it. No. Oh, that feels nice. Two for 50 on the fleeces. So yeah, let me know in the comments, is this particularly cheaper than in England? All of your sort of ski pants and stuff here. Ski jackets, some serious uh, coats. Good for the UK and stuff. Not much good for me and Laura living in Tenerife, but like these nice little fleece jackets, $50 plus the tax obviously on top. They're nice though. It's interesting, some nice uh, tops and jumpers and stuff. So we're back looking at all these shirts. I love my wacky shirts. Are these $40, are they? If they're $40, I'll get one. But it says $49.99 on here. So what's 60, is it 50? So it's a special value though. Discount taken up register. So maybe that's discounted. That's 30, $39 yeah. would probably be worth it for the the quality yeah. of it and how cool it is. Yeah. See, look, yeah, you got like a proper air vent, haven't you? Yeah, you might have To keep your back cool. That's nice. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. That might be an option. If it's $39, then yeah, I, I wouldn't pay 60 for it. Yeah. But I'd pay 40, it's nice that. I think I'd be a large as well, wouldn't I? Yeah. All your different sort of thermal socks and stuff. They look quite nice and comfy, actually. Yeah. These are buy one, get 50% off. They feel nice, them, actually. Hello. Yeah, they do feel good. They could rival the old Ralph Lorenz, them, Laura. How much are they? Is it, how much is a pack? $22. So if you got just $20, oh, if you get two of them, so you could get... Two with two packs for thirty dollars is what they're saying. Yeah. Fifteen dollars a pack. Nice. They look good, I'm don't they? Do you think I should try them instead of my Ralph Lorenz? Yeah. You think? Because they feel really nice. They do feel as good as the Ralph Lorenz, don't they? Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. You really reckon? Give yeah. them a go. Okay. So they're definitely men, yeah. Tommy Hilfiger, Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger should have been saying. Tommy yeah. Hilfiger are crying now because I so haven't gone back and got the Tommies. Cushion at the bottom and then ventilation at the top. That's yours. So am I invented at the top? I yes. see, no, I don't like that vent stuff at the top. Oh, no, that rubs on the top of my feet, that on my oh, trainers. I've had stuff like that before. I don't like it thin and all bobbly yeah. at the top, unfortunately. Well, first shop and first purchases. I've got myself a nice new shirt there. I'll enjoy that, nice and cool. I'm gonna wear that for my little uh, villa tours as well that we're gonna be filming. You got the Oakley Vault over there as well. They're the ones that where you do have to buy sort of one or two pairs for it to really kick in discount wise. You got New Balance there as well. We're not gonna be looking in all of the shops today because you could be here literally all day long. Okay, Aldo and Lululemon, you've got the fancy shoe shop there. With all the uh, Air Forces and all that going on, and the Jordans. So Aldo, just here. And Lululemon is our next shops that we're going to be visiting. So I think what you'll find a lot of the shops are doing now are all doing this second item stuff. So, you know, lovely pair of shoes there. Normally, back in the day, they would have been like $40, then $90. And then if you buy a second pair, that's when you're gonna get 40% off the next pair. So a lot of the shops are doing this, you know, they want you to buy multiple items. They don't want you to just buy one at 40% off. They want you to take two items, then they'll give you a discount off the second item or the third item. Yeah. Sometimes you get one. No, exactly. 
So yeah, I think a lot of the shops are doing that now, that form of discount. Yeah. Yeah, they've still got Laura's slippers from like three trips ago, which is still $9. So they're cheap, but you've got to see, you've got to come to the sales rack. This is the sales rack now in the sales section. You have, to, you have to keep an eye out. So the sales in the sales shops now, sales and clearance in the outlets. See, Laura's loving these white Disney shoes, but again, they're still in this 40% off. And I think, you know, you look at these here, these are clearance. I mean, these should be, these are $40 plus tax. I mean, you can get something like that in Tenerife for 20 euros. So not that cheap, really. So I can see what people mean when they're saying, you know, these outlets are not really that cheap anymore. Shame, really, yeah, it used, to, you know, used to come in, they'd be like 20 bucks yeah. back After in the day. COVID, yeah, it really old it was, yeah, yeah, it's all changed. Yeah. So if you do want a pair of moon boots, if you are off to the moon anytime soon, they've got your shoes in here and they've got Mickey on the side as well. So you can take Mickey to the moon with you in these giant moon boots. They're only $110. Get yourself down to Aldo. So we've come into Lululemon. This is a different style of doing it. So it's 50, 69 a sale and then they're doing like a deal of the day sort of thing. It's very sales racky in here. Um, Lululemon popular with the ladies for the sports gear and stuff. Last chance clearance, deal of the day. So they are definitely doing things more like, it's more like normal shopping now, but with the odd sales rack. It seems to be how the shops are doing it here now. I mean, I don't know what Lululemon costs in England, but it's, it's like $49 for a pair of these like legging sport pants. I mean, see everyone wearing them. It's meant to be good stuff. See everyone wearing it. So I don't know whether this would be a good deal for these. $80 plus your tax on top takes it to like 85. Are they worth $85? You're looking about 70 pounds. So yeah, it's working out with the exchange rate. I mean, how cheap is this? So again, with the multi-buy deals, one for, 50, one for 60, two for 100. So they want you buying multiple items now for the deals to really kick in. Uh, you got uh, tights, 79, crops, crop uh, ones are 69. So let us know in the comments if this is a good deal, if it's cheap, if, it's, if you'd go for any of this. You know, can you go on eBay and get some of this stuff just as cheap? Or maybe it's, you know, certain designs you can't get in the UK and $110 for them in the sale, apparently. So Laura's spotted this skirt that she likes, sporty shirt, sporty skirt. It's $40, $39 plus the tax. Got it in like a greeny. Nice. I have to get looking. So it should be 69 It's now 39 But, you know, is it really deal of the day? Big red writing, super sale, super cheap, but it's not super cheap. Right, I'll let you get looking, Laura. So while Laura gets in the queue for the Lululemon skirt, I'm going to take you into Crocs, which has become massively, massively popular over the last few years. Okay, so you're going to hang on a minute. Uh, they've got the new uh, Shrek ones over there. There's also some Cars ones, which everyone's going mad for. But well, that hang on, I'll take you inside Crocs. These have become really popular now. So if you can pull off these, all credit to you. I mean, suppose you could go around Universal in them, couldn't you? How much are these Shrek funky Crocs? They are $59 if you want to get Shreky. Let's see if they've got any of the Cars ones. I believe the Cars ones sell out like mad. I think they're always a sell out, the Cars ones. But again, this is not, I don't really see this place as a discount shop. I just see this as a, a croc shop. Uh, it says that these are 25% off. Buy one, get one 25% off. So again, multi-buy deals. If you don't gonna buy multiple of them, it doesn't, there's no discount. So it's just a croc shop. And if you buy, buy one, you get a bit of discount off the second pair. Uh, see if there's anything interesting in here. I don't do crocs, but I know a lot of people do. So if you see any that jump out at you, let me know. I don't think they've got any of the cars ones. I didn't think they would. So again, multi-deals. So buy two, get the third free. So again, if you're not gonna buy loads of them, if you're not gonna buy your whole family a set of Crocs, you're not gonna get any discount. If you come in and just want one pair, you're just gonna pay full price. So let me get your price on just regular Crocs. How much are just regular Crocs? If you wanna come in and get yourself a pair, how much are regular Crocs going to be? Just a straight up pair of grey Crocs. How much are they? $50 plus tax. So you're looking at $55. Don't know how much they are in the UK. $55. Would it be cheaper to buy your Crocs here? Or would it be cheaper to buy them in the UK? Because here, 
they are let's see again just to double check 49 dollars for just a straight up pair plus the tax so 55 in total roughly so do let me know you've got these very funky crocs here with all fair inside them these are how much are these these are 79 dollars plus your tax on top another little bit of shrek going on they're very funky them aren't they You've got to be pretty stylish to pull these off how much are these pretty funky aren't they now we've mentioned this before around the outlets here there are various different stalls that offer park tickets very cheap it is, if it's too good to be true, it normally is. And they normally want you to do a timeshare tour or a hard sales tour. So just be aware of that. If you see cheap discounted tickets around here, they're not that price. They're always going to be some form of catch. It's normally a hard sales tour for a few hours, things like that. So do be very careful when you see those. So over the years, we have seen some changes to the shops here as well. They have become a lot more luxury. We have now got not only just Gucci already open, but they're expanding massively. The Gucci shop here and a queue to get in and everything like that. I just think people's shopping habits have changed. The market's changed. Prices of things have changed. So I do feel outlet, the, the way they call it premium outlets is a, is a bit of a reach. I'd just say it was a, a premium shopping mall that has some sales on. I wouldn't go as far as calling it an outlet now. Do you know what I mean? You're not gonna come in and find all last season's bargains like it used to be. It's very, very different now. Uh, we can go along this way, Laura, towards gas, or do you wanna carry on around? But yeah, I mean, the gas store now, there's not, nothing in there really that isn't in the one in Tenerife that's, you know, just the same price. I don't know, it has changed a little bit. Something to bear in mind when you're coming over. Obviously, if you want to treat yourself and you know, you're saved up and you want to come and treat yourself to some shopping. But I'm talking about way back in the day, you know, five to ten, probably five to ten years ago was very, very different oh, in here. Came out, you oh, yeah, it was just bargains galore, wasn't it? People would be, you know, so, well, people aren't walking around with suitcases full anymore, are they? they? Yeah, people just got one or two bags now. It used to be people would come along with like two big 20 kilo cases yeah. waltzing along with all the gear they've bought. Yeah very different times now so a shop that i love is hugo boss i wear a lot of their tops and things i do like them i bought this exact top last time i was here this uh, black miami uh, dolphins boss shirt i love the hoodie as well so let's go on and have a look apparently there's a clearance up to 70 percent off in here so let's see then let's see just how much i mean is this a clearance rack here is that all we've got we're gonna have a little look here so yeah these are they're the clearance racks that's it the rest is all your full priced shirts. So we've got $95 for that, it's nice, but I just wonder how much of a price difference this is to the UK. Let's have a little look at the uh, Loveless Miami Dolphins stuff. This is the only thing, a lot of people do comment on my Miami, Miami Dolphins top because this is something I think you can only really get over here. Love the hoodie. I'm liking these polos as well with just the Miami Dolphins on there. That's quite nice for something a little bit different. People do always comment on my uh, Miami Dolphins t-shirt. However, I'm not seeing the t-shirt I bought here. No, I think my t-shirt might have already all sold, I think. So just as an example, I mean, I love the polo, but it's $120 plus tax. I'm not gonna pay that, but it is nice. It's something different for you, Hugo Boss, but $120, how much is the hoodie that I like? Begs the question, doesn't it? How much is this gonna be? It's all NFL and it is limited release and stuff, but. $200 for a hoodie plus tax for a hoodie is, that, uh, yeah. that no it's not going to keep you that warm is it it's lovely lovely stuff but is it really see new arrivals there never used to be new arrivals in these outlet shops no, these all nice. used to be like you know all the old gear it's not bad $58 plus oh, the tax that's, that's not too bad is it no, it's quite nice that as well it's a nice top do like that yeah I like that so as Laura's pointed out, you've got to spend a real good chunk of money to get any discounts kicking in. Once you spend six fifty, you'll get twenty percent off. You've got to really be buying a lot of stuff. Yeah. This is what they don't want you doing. What me and Laura are doing, popping in, looking at one little t-shirt. They want you coming in and how many t-shirts? You want four, or five t-shirts? Yeah. yeah. Polos, so, all of that. It's a bit of a shame, maybe something's taken away. Well, yeah, your holiday shopping. Yeah. Holiday shopping. Holiday shopping. Holiday holiday shopping. shopping. I'm not going to come in and buy like four or five t-shirts in here when I'm on holiday, am I? Yeah. Some of the stuff is lovely. I do love the Hugo Boss stuff, but yeah, it's not, not a huge discount going on. I did like the t-shirt, but is it worth 
$58 plus tax, $65, uh, I don't know. Okay, so Character Warehouse is next. Looks like they've painted the sign since we're here last. Looks nice and bright. Little bit of a queue, but we'll wait in it and see what we've got going on inside. See if there's any bargains. This looks quite busy in there. Looks well stocked. So we'll, uh, we'll wait in the queue and uh, see what's in there. Yeah, see if anything jumps out at us. You never know, yeah. You never, never know. Here we go then, Character Warehouse. Looks pretty well stocked. We've got the Epcot 40th Ears. They're $7.99. See if anything particularly jumps out at us. It is busy in here. The uh, queue would move very quickly though. We're in within two minutes. Disney Wish t-shirts there for the cruise line. We've done the cruise line shirts. Some, that's all Disney Cruise Line, all this stuff. Well, there's not a huge amount going on and you cannot move in here. I don't think the queue is being regulated as, as well as it normally is. Cannot move in here. There's nothing particularly jumping out at us. That t-shirt's still around, I'm not surprised why. <laughs> well, it's actually very unpleasant in here. You can't move, you can't see a single thing. We just want to get out of here now, I think. Unpleasant. So one thing to bear in mind is sometimes behind the till they have some of the extra goodies. You can see the Dooney and Berg bag back there. They keep some of the nice stuff behind the tills. You can see some of the bags there they've got available. Something to bear in mind, but we're getting out of here. That is not pleasant today. Definitely need to regulate that queue a bit more. Letting too many people in. It's far too busy in here. Cannot move. Okay, a little look at Under Armour. We've only got a couple more shops now before we're going to be heading off. Taking a little bit of a break. It does get quite tiring going around and battling through these shops. But we do like Under Armour. See if there's any good deals in here. This will be a good comparison for you all at home as well. Under Armour, very popular. Let's see what we can get. So we'll just give you an idea, in Under Armour you've got these uh, ladies, uh, nice thin little jumpers, $45 but you do get 30% off in here, so at least there's a little bit more outlet in here. Uh, let's see, like your hoodie jumper here, got to be careful with the music that's going on. How much is that Laura, can you find the price on that? Let's see if we can find it, it looks nice, how much is that? $55 for no discount on oh, 30% with no discount on that is there now so they have got some cheap under armor t-shirts here 15 dollars for these that's not a bad deal at all a little bit see-through for me but uh, yeah some of these are quite cheap for the under armor t-shirts gym tops and stuff okay then laura this is a proper outlet shop now we're talking proper here yeah. under armor sale proper so, outlet shop ball, 30. i got it for 21 to so nine dollars off yeah um the rock T-shirts, little crop top. 40 was 28 so of the 12, 12 dollars off. off. And then the shorts were meant to be um, 60. And you I got, got them for 30. 30. So 30 dollars off. So there you go, you got quite a bit off there. You saved 51 dollars. So there you go, that's a proper outlet shop. That's how it should be done. The others now are just making it like multi-buy, bit of discount yeah, from what I can tell. Out. But at Under Armour, good prices there, good stock of stuff as well. There's so many stores. I'm sure you could have. Sure you could have. Um, there is loads of stores. Samsonite for your suitcases, Penguin. You could be here all day. Uh, but we are starting to flag a bit now. We need a little bit of a break, I think. And then we'll uh, be carrying on later. Oh, okay, thank you. Little Hagen Dars there, offering some little free samples. But we're going to carry on. I need to go into Tommy Hilfiger and get my socks. That's definitely on the agenda. We'll see if there's any other shops that jump out at us. But for now, I think we're pretty done, I think, round here. We can always pop back. I've got two weeks anyway, so we might pop back. Or we might pop to the one on iDrive at yeah. some point. So I've just uh, bought myself a bottle of Prime because I was flagging and it's the red one that we couldn't get yesterday. Yeah. $5, which isn't too bad when you think of a Powerade in the parks is $5.50 odd. It's yeah. not too bad for something you can't normally find. Nice and cold. So we're going to enjoy a nice uh, red Prime now. I do like the red one. I just, I just think they're dead refreshing. But like now, where you're struggling, hydration, I think they're really refreshing. Well, it's time to get more of the famous socks. You wouldn't believe how much I go through these socks, but I love them. They're really nice. So you buy one, get 50% off. They're just really, really comfy. Comfiest socks. I've got them on right now. I only brought a few pairs with me because I knew I was going to buy some here. But yeah, they're just, they're just really good. So I've got a bin a few pairs back at home. But yeah, I do like them. They're good, aren't they? And I won't wear anything else other than them. I know.
So we're literally just back at the villa now, having a little bit of a chill. I'm just having some of the uh, stuff we bought for lunch yesterday. Having a little uh, bottle of Prime as well. We're just watching this Amber Heard Johnny Depp thing on Netflix. Laura's had some of her toffee apple as well. Just uh, completely chilling out now for a little bit before we head back out. And there we are. My dog was stung by a bee. <laughs> and one of the famous quotes, the cheesecake, very nice. Very nice, just thought I'd uh, let you know how that cheesecake was that I got in Walmart. And the um, hot dog things were nice as well. I've forgotten the name of them now. Pretzel dogs, they were nice as well. So it's uh, all going good. So everyone, I'm finishing off this vlog the following day because last night we got home and we absolutely crashed. We were knackered. So I thought it was best to finish off the vlog today. I really do hope that you enjoyed day one. It wasn't quite as smooth as we'd hoped. It was a lot of waiting around, a lot of queues and things. I do hope things improve a little bit with the crowd levels, but I hope you did still enjoy it. Walmart there as well, good as always. We will be visiting some of the other big supermarkets here in Orlando as well uh, throughout the two weeks. If you're new to the channel, as I've said before, make sure you do subscribe. It's completely free. We've got loads of Florida videos already on the channel, but loads more to come. And if you've got recommendations of something that you'd like to see us do in the next two weeks, let us know down in the comments. Make sure you join the group on Facebook, very friendly group, the Night Strider Florida fan group. Uh, but that's going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. Lots coming up. We've already filmed day two. It's a good one. So make sure you tune in for that one. As you can see, we might well be uh, off to the fog again. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. But thank you very much and uh, stride on. Okay, so it's now 10 to 6. We've had a little bit of a break, done a little bit of uh, editing. Laura's had a shower. I've had a shower. And now we're heading back out. We're heading back to Universal and we're going to Halloween Horror Nights. That's what we fancy tonight. Uh, the Wilsons are in there, there last night, so we're going to quickly see them, I think, try and do a house with them, try and get a couple of houses done. But yeah, yeah, that's the plan. Out to Horror Nights now, we'll have a little snack in there maybe, maybe a twisted tater or something like that. Ooh, that'd be nice. Or some pizza fries Ooh, or something. Yeah. So yeah, that's the plan, we're just going to make our way there now. We'll be a little bit busier traffic-wise, probably looking at about an hour now to get there, but um, yeah, that's the agenda, that's the plan for tonight. Well, I've got deja vu, Laura, because I'm sure we parked here 12 hours ago. Literally 12 hours ago, we parked here in King Kong 109, and here we are again. I told you, it's all row. I think to do this. It's all row. To be safe, kind of for evening, so they get us all, all the early bed in the morning, hoping that they'll Yeah, they go in the uh, in the like evening the evening time. Days, and then they can be safe, like the spaces. Yeah. yeah. We have just had to queue quite a loads of traffic and a big queue to get parked for Horror Nights. It's going to be a busy, busy night. Uh, there's a lot of lot of cars and a lot of people heading in. Uh, we're just discussing there. I was just thinking about you know, the, the price of the ticket to get in. No one wants to pay more, obviously. But I just don't know how they're going to manage to control the crowds as it gets bigger and bigger every year. They're either going to have to make it into two parks or they're going to have to put the price up. I was thinking about $140 odd dollars plus for a ticket to Mickey's Not So Scary. Horror Nights is nearly half that price for so much more, for longer hours, for a lot more in my opinion. I just think the price of $79 to get in is, is pretty cheap for what you get. So I, I can see them maybe putting the price up or they've got to do something, they've got to do something. Let me know what you think that solution would be. Do they put the price up to put people off a bit more? Ballet Park, I think it was 50 or 60 dollars. That's nearly the price of an admission ticket. I just think the tickets to get in, I think they will end up going up to be a bit more like Mickey's Not So Scary sort of price. But we'll see what it's like tonight. I'm sure it's a sellout again tonight, but we've got the free comfy of the, the top one so we can come any night. So we'll see how busy it is. I'm looking forward to getting in back in the fog, you know. I'm excited. We're going to try and do a couple of houses. Do the few scare zones that we haven't done yet. Yeah. Have some treats. Yeah, I want to try some of the snacks. Yeah, a bit of deja vu. We were here uh, 12 hours ago. And now we're back again. Look at that gorgeous sky there. Sun going down. Rip ride rocket in the background. Gorgeous. Well, we've got a gorgeous skyline and a really good atmosphere down here tonight. It's very, very busy. We've got an event and a concert going on in Hard Rock. Uh, we've got a little bit of live music down here on the uh, riverside. 
all the bars nice and busy, people heading into Horror Nights, people coming out the parks. It's a very busy time, but a great atmosphere at the same time. Yeah, live music there, chill with a little drink, see people heading in for the concert. It's, uh, I know, and a gorgeous night for it as well. For people to be out and about like this, beautiful night, gorgeous sky, sunset, and a lovely temperature. It's not humid at all, really comfortable. No, it's been really, really pleasant. So we'll get ourselves in and we'll get ourselves into the fog. But I do think it's going to be very busy. It's a good scare zone, this is the one with all the chainsaws. Uh, I'm liking it. Not as many props out this year as there was last year, though. I do feel that there is a lot less props around. It's a shame. Yeah. I definitely feel like there's less props. say one thing as much as I love the event I feel like the scare zones are really lacking this year there's just not as many props around I just don't feel yeah it was just but even last year with the graveyard and stuff I feel like this year is really lacking with, with props with with actors and stuff as well I just feel like it's really lacking a little bit scare zone wise this year we're gonna see this next one we've not been through, but I just feel like it's a little bit sparse on the on the scare yeah. zone side of things. The houses we've done have been amazing so far. Yeah. But this year, so far, a little bit lacking on the scare zones, I think, compared to other years. the flash dancers these are really really good you'll see videos of them online on tiktok youtube and everything they are absolutely fantastic i'll be gutted if we've missed them i really want to see the dance i'll be gutted if we've missed them it looks like they're just doing pictures at the moment i'll be devastated if we've missed them so we're hopefully going to catch those dancers at some point i really want to see them i really want to video them for you as well they are fantastic but uh, you can definitely find the videos already on YouTube and on TikTok, etc. I've not seen, I've not seen the oh, they're amazing. They're amazing. They're just, it's just a really good little thing. I just like it. Right now, we're really in the fog now. This is probably going to be the best scare zone, I think. This always is because it's so condensed. Yeah. But let's see. I mean, last time they had people swinging from the top and everything. No. He's looking good. I like it. Hey. He's like a mix of a turtle, man. There you go. You've got a plane there. Oh, yeah, we've got stuff going on. Hey. Oh, he's scary. These are really good. Yeah. This always has been one of the best scare zones. Still, though, I do feel a lot less props around. Yeah, I feel a bit less acting, a bit less actors out here on the on the scare zones maybe. Definitely, definitely less around. There you go. Oh and all the back to the Oh yeah. Hey, look at that. Hey! That's you before you've had your coffee. <laughs> While the queue is nice and quiet, we're going to grab ourselves a little twisted tater. I was going to go for a nice simple one, I think. Just twisted tater with salt. So how do you do that? Twisted tater with just seasoned salt I'm going to go for. Tried the garlic parmesan last time. I think I tried the sour cream and chives last time, maybe. I think I'm just seasoned salt today. Let's see how we get on. Let's go and place our order here and then pick it up. Yeah, no lines. Nice. So here we go then, twisted tater. It's nice, I've already had a bite. Nice? Yeah. Does the job, doesn't it? It's a nice little salty snack to keep you going. Okay, so we're just heading round to Chucky because we've heard a rumor that uh, the dancing the girls might be by Chucky. So we're gonna head towards there, just going through some of the scare zones. Ah, uh, it looks pretty good. There you go. Hey. 
so we just met up with uh, Gaz and Seb from Incredible Wilson's. How's it going? We're going to do a little bit of a few hours with you, hopefully a few yeah. houses and stuff. Oh, we're doing Seb, amazing. best house of the of the of this year so far. Universal what would you? Monsters. Universal monsters. You're going for? Yeah. Okay. And Gaz, for me, it's got to be the Exorcist. Exorcist. You like I, that, didn't you? You've not done either of them two yet, have you? Not yet. No. No. Honestly. The Exorcist is awesome. Really We're going to try and do Odd Fellows, which neither, none of us have done no. yet. We're going to try and do that one next. If if the rumours are true, let's wait around and see. Hopefully, something Hopefully. special could happen in the next one. I do years. hope there's gonna, we're going to get to see this flash yes. dance, which will be nice. Scare Zones, you agreed though, didn't you? Lacking a bit this year. Yeah, they're not as good as they have been, have they? No, definitely not. Last year were a lot better. The scare Zone-wise, 100%. Yeah, they're still good. But I think the houses so far have been really good this year, but the Scare Zones are lacking. Yeah, and I think like we took you touched on it earlier. Yeah, it's great value, isn't it? Really, in comparison to Mickey's not so scary. Yeah, if you think of the price of that and the yeah. price of this, you get an awful lot for the but entry it, ticket. Uh, but it's mega busy here, isn't it? That's the problem. That's the problem. Very, We're gonna have to do something. Busy. Maybe spread it over two parks. It's getting busier and busier every year. Yeah, I bigger think, and bigger and bigger. I think that's what's gonna have to happen. It's gonna have to do something, isn't it? We came to the uh, stain screen um, last night. Yeah. Um, the stain screen in the middle there. Yeah. We couldn't get in it. It was full. Jeez. It was absolutely full. So we ended up going to one that we'd already been into. Yeah. It was absolutely rammed. Yeah. It's so so busy. And the scene get here at half four. Just Car four, early. that's see, you're already waiting like three hours before you even yeah. get in a house anyway. So, it defeats the object of staying screen, doesn't yeah, it? Really, definitely, but no, we'll see how we get on tonight. It's looking quite busy, but the houses aren't looking too bad wait time wise at the moment. Can I ask you a question? Did you enjoy your twisted tater? I did enjoy the twisted tater, I did actually. I liked it with just salt. I went for the sour cream last year, didn't yeah, I? Yeah. It wasn't as the, just the standard salt one was nice. What did you, what did you have, Laura? Standard. I think they're expensive though. It's twenty five dollars for two of them and a, and a Coca Cola. It's not. It's not too. cheap, like. But yeah. Well, we we yes, when we came, me and Chris, we had a drink. A yeah. Little, two little cans. Thirty yeah. thirty dollars it was. Fifteen dollars a can. Yeah. It's expensive. Yeah, and what about any any snacks? Have you had any of the snacks from here? We've not, have we? No. We've not. not much like options. No. I tell you what Seb had the other day though, he went to the Minions oh, ice cream. Yeah, yeah. I got a Gru one, it was just Nutella chocolate, it was so good. Ooh, Nutella chocolate, and was, that was the Gru ice lolly thing, was yeah. it? Yeah, nice. Nice, but yeah, I think the scare zones could do a little bit more, but we'll see how we get on with the rest of the night. We'll see if this flash dance happens first. If not, I'll do a dance for you. I hope so, yeah. Have you got your wig and that? I don't need a wig. And your tights. <laughs> Here we go, the rumour was right, here's one, one Megan's just appeared, out of nowhere. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, there's another one coming out now. Where are they heading to? Oh, hey, this is going to be good. I'm excited now. Oh, there she is. They're appearing. But where are they heading to? Here we go, over here. Let's get ourselves up. We've waited a long time. Let's get ourselves in here. them are made up we got to see them really, really good and they do give you a picture opportunity at the end uh, just make sure you're getting that line quickly have your phone out ready one picture per party it was good that i liked it nice different yeah i like that good little addition that is right it's gonna head to a house now well, hey whoa <laughs>
go then. Dr. Oddfellows have waited about an hour for this. So let's hope it's worth it. You're nervous now, Laura? You get all relaxed in the queue, don't you? Now I'm nervous. Here we go. We're into the Grand Circus. Quite a cool entrance. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be scary, I think. Oh, it's another fantastic house completed. That was scary and intense, Laura. Got quite scared in there. That was intense. Quite clown themed as well, yeah. Loads of scares. The house have been really, really good so far this year. That was another cracker. So we're gonna have a little bit of a wander now, a little bit of a drink and a toilet break. You can see the rides, the, the uh, houses, sorry, getting really high wait time. So I don't think we'll do any more houses, but we could do a few rides. But uh, we'll definitely grab a drink, I think, eh, Gaz? Yeah, have a little drink, a drink a little maybe do a little yeah do a little ride or something or a few scare zones but that was a good house that i enjoyed that guys honestly i really enjoyed it what i didn't enjoy there was a guy behind me he kept pulling on the <laughs> me <laughs> no, it was, it was, was nice so we got ourselves a nice little blue raspberry Ooh. and uh, cherry slush these cookies are lovely. They're nice, these cookies, guys. You'll enjoy them. that. And I'm still whooped off, am I? <laughs> I've had them before, yeah, really. They're, they're, they're dead soft, and you've gone for a Coke slushy. You know the last time I had one of these? Was yeah. With, with you, you know, you know really? Second I love us, you can't be so icy. Yeah. You can't beat them. Heavy slushies. Yeah. Because they feel really light. Yeah. They're not, they're not heavy. They're nice. Is that good, Laura, today? Yeah. yeah. We're gonna do a little night ride on Rip Ride Rocket. I don't remember the last time I did this in the dark, but I'm looking forward to this now. The All the houses very, very busy now, Saturday night, so I think it's totally just gonna be this. And then maybe a little wander around and a chill, and that's gonna be it for tonight, I think. But yeah, this in the dark should be good. We have left Horror Nights now. It was just far too busy in there. Very, very intense with the crowd. So we're now just in City Walk. So just popped into the Chocolate Emporium. Just having a little look at what treats they've got. Pumpkin cheesecake, chocolate candy corn, key lime s'mores, they look really nice. Birthday cake s'mores as well. She's got some different Halloween treats and cakes. And uh, Laura is just in the queue for one of those big milkshakes with all the fancy stuff on. So Laura's just in that queue over there, seeing if we can get a bit of a milkshake. The queue again, just everywhere tonight is just queues. We've got concerts going on, live music. It is just crazy in here tonight, Saturday night. So if you like your sweets, chocolates, treats, etc., good little place to come. This one, they've got quite a lot. It's not the cheapest in here, but you can do a little bit of sort of pick and mixing and stuff. And then they've got all kinds of different chocolate covered marshmallows. And these look really tempting. I like the strawberry version of these, but these are blue raspberry. So I'm tempted to try them, but $6 plus tax, I mean, it's really not cheap. See, I quite like these ones, the strawberry ones, they have them quite a lot, the Haribo version, but these are blue raspberry, I'm tempted to try them. But it's the price just puts me off a little bit. Well, it's more disappointment at the Chocolate Emporium, I'm afraid. We waited in a queue all that time, it was all on the screens, what you could have. At no point anywhere did it say, they've got no hazelnut chocolate, all kinds missing all the way to the front for them to say they didn't have it so we, we just had to leave the line like it's the electrical screen it should put up unavailable time. or yeah just have it crossed off yeah i don't get it there was it. quite a few people queuing up for things that weren't even available i know and it was a long wait as well yeah. so that's three times we've been in there and, and three yeah times we've been, been disappointed. disappointed yeah so i think we'll just avoid it all together yeah, now i think so yeah if i'm think glad i didn't buy it i was eyeing up a dollar six dollar box of sweets i'm glad i never got them yeah, now definitely not. Don't, don't deserve all money. no so we're gonna head to uh, fat tuesdays now uh one of gaz's recommendations we've never been before gaz has never been before a lot of people talk about it so we'll try and see what it's like yeah how good does it look though islands of adventure here in the dark just think we were here this morning laura all those hours ago stood over there now we've done full circle yeah been a long day hasn't it loved it though it's a great atmosphere down here. It's just Torre Nights there is just, wow, super intense. Oh, you've got the uh, Universal's Great Movie Escape there. That would be quite good. Escape rooms themed on um, different uh, Universal movies, I think that is. And here is uh, Fat Tuesdays. You've got another one down there. Proper party uh, atmosphere tonight. Here you go, Fat Tuesdays. Let's give this a go. 
see what it's like. Here are all the alcohol slushies here. And uh, these are all what they mean. So you've got Pina Colada, Margarita, Cat 5 Hurricane Strong. That's too strong for me. I'm looking at just like a blue raspberry. But I think that might be just the slush. Let's see, but yeah, you got eye candy. It's all a lot of rum in there. Strawberry, 190 Octane, top seller. One of the strongest drinks. Oh, wow. Ah, that's the 190 Octane there, the blue raspberry one. So that's going to be very strong. I've gone for one of my beers in my favourite tin bottle cans. I do like a Michelob Ultra. Guys, you've gone for a uh, blue, raspberry. blue raspberry 190 octane, which is one of their strongest drinks, it says. Do you want an extra shot, shot in it as well? I'm alright. I Thank tried you. to say yeah, but you said no. I'm, I'm alright. What's it like? Have you tried it? Do you know what it tastes like? Go on. It's a normal, remember Mr. Freeze ice pop? Yeah. It tastes like that. Nice. Like, a, like a cheap slush. It's very, very nice. Yeah? I can taste the alcohol in it though. Is it strong? <laughs> you should have got an extra shot. Oh no, definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> and Laura's gone for a um, pina colada one. Give it a try, Laura. Let us know what you think. Oh, yeah. Have you tried it? Is it nice? Yes, nice. Quite pineapple. Yeah. Nice party time. Nice. We <laughs> got another uh, a bar that we might try another night. A Bob Marley bar. Jamming drinks. Might give that a little go in there, bit of a Bob Marley bar. Do you like a bit of reggae? It's uh, really lively down here tonight. Nice little drink there in uh, fat, what was it called? Fat Tuesdays. Fat Tuesdays. Enjoyed it in there. Red Coconut Club. Yeah, it's all going, it's all going on. Well, it's definitely time for us to head home. We are absolutely knackered. It is just crazy in here. The uh, concert has just come out, so it's now very, very busy. Uh, heading back to the car park now, and then we'll make our way home. Time for bed. Well, everyone, I'm back again, rounding off the vlog the following morning, because again, we did come home and absolutely crash. Uh, it took us about 40 odd minutes to get back home, and by the time we walked through the door, it was just straight to bed and crash. Uh, enjoyed Horror Nights last night. It was very busy though, but Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday are the busiest days you could possibly go. Saturday, probably the busiest. Um, so we expected it, but we did get one house ticked off the list. So that's three houses we've done now, or four. So we've done four of the houses already. Uh, enjoyed seeing uh, Gaz and everything and just having a little wander around and a chill. I uh, hope you did enjoy it. If you did, do please give a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you do hit the subscribe as well. Plenty of vlogs on the way. We, as you can see, we're already up and out and ready and heading off uh, for day three. Thank you all very much and uh, stride on. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.